Hi, Honest Discussioner here. This is a response to It's the Superfly for responding to my video Simulated Universe. Uh, he basically went through what it would take to simulate a universe and uh, went through in great detail all of the different steps uh, you'd have to go through. Um, so I got two things from his video. One, that what I was suggesting was plausible but two, that it might be a little bit ridiculous. And I'd like to address that point, and also a couple points that uh, other people made in the comments section. See, people were under the impression that I was saying, could we simulate our universe? As it appears uh, right now, with all of the different uh, physical laws, with every single quantum in interaction across the entire universe, yet that seems unlikely to ever happen. But that really isn't necessary. What I said simulated universe, I meant a universe. One of our own design. We, there, there, we wouldn't necessarily have to have gravity or any of those things in there. All we would have to really do is to be able to simulate or at least copy our neural patterns into a computer and have the computer basically run our minds. Not run as in command, but run as in process what our minds would normally process. They're already working on this, uh, mostly in Europe. I think it's called the Blue Brain Project. I'll post the link in the uh, crotch bar there. That they're currently simulating a uh, rat's neural cortex, and soon, and within a couple years, they're hoping to do this for human beings and uh, neural cortex, and then uh, a couple years after that, an entire human brain. The interesting thing is, as it stands right now, uh, the rat, the small area of rat brain that they're currently simulating, is already beginning to act and behave exactly like a real one would. It's able to automatically organize itself without human intervention. And that's really interesting. If that technology progresses, and it seems that it could progress to the point of simulating human mind within 10 years, there seems to be nothing standing in the way of having sentient uh, intelligence that lives inside a computer. There are many benefits to this. For one, uh, there's no possibility of starvation. Uh, there's no possibility of uh, really death unless you destroy the machine itself. Uh, we could technically download our brains, our memories, our minds into a computer and live in a smaller version of our universe. Maybe even just a galaxy or a few solar systems. We wouldn't have to process the quantum fluctuations. We wouldn't have to understand the Heisenberg uncertainty principle that people in the comments section insisted we'd have to know in order to simulate our own universe we could technically create a Star Wars universe, or a Dragon Age universe, or any type of universe that we wanted to. We could also have a regular universe. There would be no, uh, th that was similar to ours, but maybe didn't have exactly the same amount of laws. We wouldn't need to have gravity. We wouldn't need to have any of these uh, advanced calculations that people said we would have to have. To me, it's an intriguing idea, because this is basically the, the atheist heaven all of your needs would be taken care of. There's no need for resources. Uh, if you want a cheeseburger, you basically can just will a cheeseburger into existence. Uh, and you'd be able to eat it and enjoy it and not gain any weight. You have no actual physical body, only the perception of one. And that's really the interesting thing to me. All uh, Look at a video game today. Only imagine it in a first person's perspective and imagine that what happens you, in the video game you can actually feel. You can feel as your character walks, you can feel, uh, you know, walking on the ground. This is not far away, and according to Superfly, uh, it, it seems that it's possible, at some point at least, to do this. Now, maybe I'll grant you that it's possible that minds require quantum uh, fluctuations in order to, to, to work, in order for consciousness to be possible. I'm really not convinced about that. I, I know there's, a, there's some amount of science on there, but it's very controversial and really not solid in, in any way. And I'm, 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 I don't know for certain, but I'm confident it's going to be overturned. But even if I'm wrong, even if I granted that there would be quant that you'd have to have some sort of quantum fluctuations being processed by the computer, we would only have to have that in the minds of the people within the simulation, not across the entire simulation in all of the objects we'd go with, that, that we'd have to generate.
hopefully you're understanding where I'm going with this. This might be a little bit of a ramble, but to me it's a very interesting one. It is a way that we could possibly live for millions of years. If we were able to transfer our consciousness over to a computer, it pretty much would be as close to heaven as we could physically get. So what do you think about this? And uh, again, thank you, Superfly. That was uh, really, really in, uh, in depth and interesting. Uh, I'd like to ask you if you think that my idea is complete baloney or not. Uh, because to me, it's something I think we should be striving for. Uh, sorry to all the people that hate transhumanism out there, but seriously, I think it's a great idea. Tell me what you think, though, everyone. Have a nice day. Honest Discussioner, out.